G'day everyone, I'm Mark Hunt, and today I'm here to tell you about a brand new series. Now, everyone knows I'm a man of the outdoors. Some might even say I'm a bit of an expert. Oh, oh my knee. So come and join me as we explore the better parts of remote Australia off the beaten track. So today we're taking a short little day trip to a beautiful place called Wanjunga. Now this one's fairly well known to the locals, which means you'll need a few people skills like myself to get directions. Now, I have a bit of a confession to make. When it comes to dirt roads, I'm a bit of a speedster. So we're gonna see how quickly we can get down to the end of this dirt road. And yeah, we'll time it and I'll tell you it's the end of it. So let's go do that. I think you can really tell when, uh, when you drive into a cattle property. It's just a certain vibe about cattle properties that I like. And in the uh, beaten uh, tracks out in uh, Australia, you can definitely tell when there's, uh, when there's cattle. Now, this is a pretty remote place. We're lucky if we see a person in two days of travel. So, you can tell there's been cattle here. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't see any cow packs, but. Well. We made it to beautiful, windy Wanjunga. As you can see, it's a pretty full beach. Beautiful place to be. I brought the boomerang with me today. We're gonna to throw it around, have some fun. Now, over there, uh, you can see uh, Cape Upstart, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna set up a little bit of a camp. We're gonna have a bit of a throw around. We're gonna have some fun. Time to have a bit of a play. So, ladies and gents, that brings us to the end of our first adventure off the beaten track. Now, because I've got a bit of a drive ahead of me, I'm going to enjoy a hot cup of coffee before we head back on the frogging trail. So, I hope to catch you next time we venture off the beaten track. My name is Mark Cup. See you there. Ah.